Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit and this is a new video in Salesforce integration. And the topic for today's video is that how do we integrate Salesforce with chat G. Before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe or like our YouTube channel. You can also press the bell icon to get the more updates on. So as all of you know that chat GPT is very popular these days. So therefore I decided that uh, why not prepare a video to, to which I can demonstrate you that how can we integrate chat GPT with it. Normally in chat GPT, we can ask a question, we can post our question and the, uh, the system, the server will, the chat GPT server will respond on that server. But, uh, the, it will respond the question. So I would uh, I would decide. I mean, basically, I decided to integrate the same chat GPT with the Salesforce, and we will be going to create one LWC component in Salesforce. And from that LWC component, we will be going to invoke the chat GPT API and post our questions to the chat GPT server. And the whatever response we receive from the chat GPT server, that response will display. Uh, on a lightning web component also. So in order to do this, we require a few things. So the first thing we need to do is we need to sign up. Uh, basically, we need to sign up for an account. So we need to sign up for the chat GPT account. So as you can see, what I have done, uh, I have successfully signed in to the chat GPT. Let me open that. This is my chat GPT. So the URL which I use to log into register, uh, the URL is platform.openapi.com slash account. So you can visit accounts and uh, when you visit accounts, when you visit here, it will ask you to register yourself. So I have already signed up and I have already registered and uh, logged in successfully. We can see the users, we can also get the API key. So that's what I'm looking for because you know that in order to integrate uh, between, in order to integrate two applications, we required API key. So as you can see, I have already successfully generated an API key. So with the help of this API key, the integration will be, the integration will happen. So in order to create this API key, it's pretty simple. I click on, you have to click on create new secret key. Add the name, and when you click on create secret key, it will generate one key for you. And for testing purpose, this is the key. So you will get a key like this, something like this. So you will get a key like this, S K and this. So the so the key which I generated for the for this demo video for this demo uh, for this demo is this. So this is the key which I received here. And this key, what I did, I pasted in a notepad because I'm going to use this later. Now, uh, the, uh, I would like to quickly do a test whether using the API tool, they will be able to make an API call on this chat GPT or open API or not, chat API or not. So for that, what I'm doing, I just use Postman for testing purpose. And from the Postman, I'm going to make a request. And, the, and from the postman, in order to make a request, the URL will be, the URL will be this. So we can use API open.com v1 models. And we, like for example, I just copy this URL and I'm going to test, test it. So I just use a get method. The method will be get URL. If I try to run it right now, it will throw an error message because we have to, uh, establish a connection and for the connection, we need to authorize it. The request need to be authorized. So those who are familiar with integration, you might have, uh, you might already know this, that if the, uh, if, the th uh, if the application did not authorize the request, then no response, no communication will happen. So here also we have to uh, provide an authorization key. So I click on authorization, click on bearer token. And in this bearer token, I just paste the API key which we received from the open API. So I copy this API key and paste it here. 
And when I click on send, when I click on send or I, I make a request, you can see the status is 200. Okay, that means the request has been approved by the open API and this is the response we received. And uh, we use, uh, here we'll be getting the IDs and object and data files. We'll be getting more. So that means the connection established successfully and the key we, the key we will be using, that key is also correct. And we have successfully made a get request from the postman onto chat GPT or open API. Now I would like to make a post request. In order to do that, we can use post and we can make a post request. And uh, for this, what I'm doing, this will be the URL. Now from where you get this URL, and uh, in order to do this, you can navigate back to the open API, platform.open API, and here, I click on API references. And when we click on API references, we'll get chat, create chat, and here is the create chat completion. So the method is post and the code is, the URL is https openapi.com slash v1 slash chat slash completions. So I copy this URL, paste it here in the URL, method as post, authorization the same bearer token and the same token, uh, the same API key I paste here, because it's a post method, so I would like to ask a question to chat server and the chat server will respond. For that, I need to pass a, I need to, uh, pass a question. If I click on body, I just change the type to JSON and I ask my question here. So this is the, uh, this is the way I can ask a question like model chat GPT 3.5-turbo uh, and role user and content, what is here? If I run this, and uh, if the connection is established successfully, say uh, the chat server, the open, the platform open API will respond back, will give the response and that response we can review here. So let's wait for a minute because it's making a request, uh, sending the request. And it may take some time, reason we will be making a third party request. So as you can see, the request has been approved and based on the question I asked, what is Salesforce, I get the answer here. This is the response which I received from the uh, from the open API, platform open API, from the chat GPT. So that means we are on the right track and we successfully raise a question from the API. We successfully ask a question from API to chat GPT. So the same functionality we have to use in LWC. The only thing is in, in LWC, we need to establish everything. We need to, we need to uh, create the fields to ask the questions. We need buttons and we need an interface. We need an output field where we can display the other uh, response which we receive from the chat. So for this, what I've done, I have already created one lightning web component. Those who are not, uh, those who are new to LWC and those who don't know how do we create a lightning component, uh, I will drop the link in uh, in the uh, I will drop the link so that uh, you can check the video. You can you can check the video. How do we create a lightning web component in Salesforce by using Visual Studio Code and how do we deploy that? <laughs> so you can visit that link. Here, what I have done, I created a new Lightning Web component. And uh, in this Lightning Web component, the first is the meta.xml file. And this meta.xml file, I just said is export is equal to true. And I just set the target. So the targets I set, I just I set four targets here. Target basically the place, uh, the place from where we can access this uh, component, LWC component, or you can say where we can deploy our LWC component. So these are the four places on a on home page, on app page, on a tab, or on a utility bar. You might familiar with the utility bar. So utility bar basically, whenever we create a new application, so utility bar is a quick shortcut uh, which added at the which which will be placed at the bottom of the application. Okay, so we can access the chat GPT from there on. How do I how do I place over there? I'll show you this in uh, in <clears throat> after a few steps. So this is the XML. Then the next is the HTML. This is the HTML I have designed. It's a very small HTML I have done. What I did here, I just added a lightning card. 
and I will share the code also. I'll share the uh, link to download to access the code so that you can uh, you can also try at your end. So lightning card and division and uh, alternate text. Actually, what I've done, I added a lightning spinner here. The purpose of lightning spinner is by the time uh, whenever we make a whenever we made a request from these uh, from the component to the chat GPT server and so we'll be waiting for the response. So I just wanted to show the spinner. So you know that whenever we raise the questions and if, if the network is busy, if the system is busy, we would like to display the spinner. So this is for that. The spinner, and we would like to display the spinner. We would like to show the spinner if the message not yet received. So that's why I mentioned here that if true is loaded and uh, is loaded and is loaded. So basically if true and if false is loaded. So is loaded is a... Uh, is loaded is basically it's a variable we have declared in the JavaScript. Then I just create, I just design this component where I get one input lightning input and one lightning button. So lightning input is to get the input from the user. So where the where the end user will type the question and the button in order to click uh, in order with the help of the button when user click on the button, it will uh, ask a question to the it will send the question to the chat. This is how somehow looks like my chat GPT. What is a chat GPT? So this is the output. Actually, when we say ask to me, when we click on ask to me button, so what happened? It will send a request or it will, it will send a request or it will pose this question to the chat GPT server and wait for the response. And by the time we'll be waiting, the spinner will. Be. Next, uh, as you can see here in uh, here in lightning input, we use values equal to questions and on change is equal to handle on change, SLDS button and for the button we have on click is equal to handle on handle on click. So these are the functions we have declared in our LWC JavaScript. So here I declare the decorators, API decorators. I just add some, push, uh, I just declare it questions, data and all. Then handle on, and see is loaded is equal to true, is change is equal to true and message is blank. By default, it is blank. Next, handle on change and handle on click. So handle on change, handle on change means whatever questions, whatever question user type in here, but this is the default question. What is the chat GPT? As you can see, this is the default question. But instead of this, if I want to ask another question, I can remove this and add my, I can, <clears throat> I can type in my own question. So when I type in my question, that question will pass that question will pass over here to this this dot question, and this is responsible to get the question from the uh, from the component, and that question will be saved into this dot question. Then. And I just said this dot is change is equal to true. Handle on click if this dot if this dot is change is equal to true, then we are going to set is load is equal to false and get chat data. So get chat data is a function, and the purpose of this function is to establish a connection with the chat GPT server or open API, make a request and wait for the response. And whenever received, whenever the response will be uh, received, that response, that message will be saved into the message variable. And this variable we are using here. And that's what we are doing here. So first of all, I create one endpoint. This is the endpoint to which where I'm going to make a request, header, new headers and append authorization. Uh, bearer and the content type is application JSON. So the request we are going to forward that format will be in a JSON format. So if you remember, once I once I post a question from here, like when I post a question from my postman, so I'll use the same thing actually, JSON and authorization bearer tokens. So I'm I'm doing the same thing with the authorization. Console.log, this is to check the question. It is not required. We can uh, we can remove that. That's what I'm that's what I'm issue. We can remove that. And what I'm doing here, this is the JSON I'm passing. So we are uh, I'm still find the JSON. And if you see this is the same, uh, this is the same format what we pass here uh, in a body from the postman. See model is equal to this and message role user content what is same. The only thing is, instead of the static question, I just post a dynamic one. So whatever we question, whatever we type in the question in the box, that question will pass over here with the help of this query. Then we will uh, method will be post and we wait for the response. And once we receive the response, that information will saved into the method. 
whatever the response that from the choices we from the message basically message dot content that content will store into the message. Uh, for example, here if we see the content, we are looking for the content. See, this is the response from the chat GPT. So from the message, see choices, message, and content. And that's what I'm just typing here. See. This dot data choices zero because we may have multiple choices. But right now there is only one choice. So uh, choice zero dot message dot content. So choice dot message dot content. And this is what uh, this is what I would like to extract. So I just said okay. So that ex uh, extraction will be done and stored into this message. And if any error occur, it will uh, we display the error in a console dot So this is the code in order to integrate or in order to establish uh, perform an integration between the Salesforce and chat GPT using LWC component, we'll be going to save this and finally we deploy that. So I just save all and finally we'll be going to deploy. And once that deployment is done, once, the, once it's successfully deployed, let's test it. So in order to test it, I can test it from here. I just write, what is an FX controller? Or I just write what is an FX, what is trigger, for example, what is trigger in Salesforce? And let me ask a question. I click on ask to me. As you can see, we are waiting for the response. So the spinner, it will display the spinner, it will show the spinner. And once the response will be received, so trigger is a Salesforce piece of code. So that is perfectly fine. But now the next is, as you can see in the web.x, we have use this option where we would like to display this in the utility bar. So how do we add this chat GPT on a utility bar? This is the utility bar in this application. I would like to add it here. So I would like to place this chat GPT in the utility bar. And in order to do this, I'll get to, I get, uh, I'll look for the app manager and the app which I'm going to customize. This is the sales application, sales lightning app. Let me refresh this once. And I'm going, we will be going to edit the application. So which application? Sales Lightning application. So we have Sales Lightning Sales. I'm going to edit this application. And in this application, we used to have the console, uh, we used to have the utility bar option. Utility items, I click on utility items, add utility items, and I would like to display the components, LWC chart as selected. This will place here. LWC chat label. I just write here uh, chat chat GPT and save this. We'll make the save. Uh, we'll make the, uh, save the changes and get back. And now when I refresh my chat GPT, that LWC component will be placed in the utility bar, and we can open that and and ask a question from there on. We open this and we can ask them. So we'll get the response. This is also a quick update. If you don't want to place it on a home page, we can place it in a uh, utility bar. This will be more than that depends on the requirement. Where do you want to place that? So that's all in this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel. You can reach out to us for the customized training on Salesforce integration. Feel free to contact us on the given numbers, or you can drop an email on info at the red .com. And for more update about the courses, you can visit our website www.eitechman.com. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.